Hey guys, so I am in my dormitory suite dormitory and it's kind of blank in here because I haven't fully like figured out wall decorating and all that stuff. I got a package in the mail just about ready for bed but I figured I'd pop this one real quick because I really really want to see this wig. I got a wig at Uni Wigs and that's an online store. I think I ordered this like two weeks ago. Uni Wigs cost about like $200 almost like I got a discount so I didn't have to pay for shipping but in all I think it was about like $160. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I got this wig pictured here somewhere. <laughs> um. So I got the Moon Nymph wig, I believe, in the color Peach Silver. I really like the picture that they had on the Uniwigs website, but I felt like the color was like inconsistent maybe throughout the photos that I saw from customer photos, from the photos that they're posting on it. Like they described it as peach silver, but I was like, that doesn't look like a peach silver, that looks like a gray blue or something, and I really like it. I hope I get that one. The way that they colored it out was just a little bit different. I'm like, oh, I didn't like the way that some of it looks, so I'm really hoping that it's consistent. It comes in this nice little box. I'm just really scared. I'm almost too scared to open it, but I have to. Yeah, to preface this, I never bought a wig online before, so that key, key, I'm very scared. It took me hours and hours of siphoning through sites to like trust online shopping because I just don't online shop enough. So I guess what comes in the box is these. Oh, I have lots of these. But there is a weaving cap, so it's a hairnet, but I prefer one that's like a full soft cap to go through, no holes, no net kind of thing. I like a full cap, it feels like it's really securing all the hair, everything like that. You've got these combs. I do not like wigs without combs, let me get that straight. Combs are just like, they're good because they just keep it secure, it feels like, yeah, I could do flips in this wig. Reaction. The length looks pretty good. It's about the same length as this wig. I don't know how I feel. I have to wait until I put it on. But... Ooh, the lace is nice. I don't know, I'm just hesitant because the color doesn't look like it's that strong. I'm gonna try this on with a wig cap, and then I'm gonna compare it to the pictures that we have. It has the hooks. It has three cones already in there so that's really nice they look really strong and secure and they have two straps quality overall oh oh the quality of the cap is great the hairline so far I'm trusting it look at this oh my god actually this is oh this is so nice look at that that's important they have that little black section right here it has like the little hairs in the back if you do any kind of updo which is really what I want to get into you're gonna have those little baby natural looking hairs in the back so after that it just looks really nice I'm gonna try this on right now okay in all realness I think <laughs> I'm gonna need a little bit more time to put this on but it's a comfy fit so far okay this is definitely not the most appropriate lighting can't really see it but I'll show you guys pictures I'll take like some really good pro ones uh, later maybe try some like hair designs and stuff but I'm kind of disappointed because I don't like gluing down my wigs I've been perfectly fine with most wigs that I've gotten where it's just like you hook it in you leave it it fits it's good or you can tighten the cap straps in the back whatever but this one as you can see I put it on it's loose it's really loose and the hairline it's loose let me show you on my old wig here it doesn't have these like little holes like if there's like wefts right there that are exposed if you want to see the inner cap of my old wig it's like that so you could poke your hands right through um, you don't really need that you can't see any of the wig exposure the color I'm not I'm not really um, I expected a lot better to be honest um, I felt like even with a hundred ten dollar wig like yeah I didn't have a lot of parting options um, but you know this is just like it's gonna be a hassle to always glue this down I really wish I could style it for you guys but I'm not good at that quite yet I'm still learning 
once I do, I mean, we could probably do a lot of fun things with this, but... Ow, I feel like the hooks are so far apart. Like, why is that necessary? I think the conclusion is that I'm iffy on how color turns out with any of these wigs um, when I see the pictures because I noticed a lot of inconsistency as I mentioned and now I'm feeling kind of that inconsistency. This doesn't look like a super glam color, it just looks like kind of like my other wig. I'm not in a hurry to buy from this company again right now, but I'm open to potentially buying from it again in the future because a lot of interesting wigs, it was so hard to choose, end up with Moon Nymph. Um, peach silver and it, it's okay so far the wig quality the cap it seems really good uh, it's just maybe the length of the lace and where the hooks are placed I guess uni wigs I give you five out of seven dragon balls I don't know all these links are gonna be below bye